Well, welcome back to our next Traveling Sisters adventure. Today, we're going to share a couple of our unforgettable experiences with our favorite, the elephant. There are many animals in Africa in particular that we love to observe, watching the hunt of a leopard or the organized chaos of wild dogs chasing down a water buck or a beautiful bird in flight. The one animal that always captures our attention is the African elephant, the largest land mammal on earth. Everyone is aware of their incredible memories, their dedication to family and intelligence. But the question today is, are they really that gentle or can they be aggressive and dangerous? Actually both. Elephants are complex animals and always demand our respect of their space. Their posturing, body language, and movements give us the answer should we encroach on their space where they feel threatened or endangered. Their sole objective is to ensure the safety of the herd. This is especially true when calves are present. We've been in situations where an elephant's calmness changes to becoming threatening when we get too close. Our guides and trackers are experts in reading the behaviors of elephants and act immediately to reposition a vehicle should the moment dictate our retreat. We must remain silent and remain calm in the event of an elephant's approach. Often, these um, elephants will not deem us a threat and will just kind of walk right on by us. Sometimes they're so close that you could touch them. But there have been numerous occasions where personal or safari vehicles have not backed away from an elephant, where the animal has attacked and even overturned these big vehicles. So the behavior signs we need to watch for um, include looking at the tail, it usually swings back and forth, side to side, but when it becomes stiff, especially if it points to the side, that's an indication of the animal's anxiety. We look at the ears. They're normally flapping. That's not really a problem. They do that to control the temperature and to cool themselves. But if it spreads wide, especially if it's accompanied with a head shake, that's an indication that we need to move. If their trunk is twisted, or draped over their tusks, that's another indication that it's a dangerous animal at this point. If their feet become stillness, um, still, they're usually quite active on their feet. They'll pick up a foot, they'll move. But if um, they rock on their feet, again, it shows some anxiety. And certainly if there's a male that's in must, you need to be careful of their aggression. They'll secrete a liquid about their head um, usually between the eyes and their ears. Um, you can see it, um, and you know that that's um, an indication that there's a problem. Sometimes they'll have a constant urine drip, and it smells bad. But elephants um, in this state um, often swagger and hold their heads up high. So we're going to show you some videos today where the mood and the behaviors of these giants are readily identifiable. You'll see the calm ones, the ones we just sit and watch for hours if we can. And then you'll see the ones that we back away from right away because they would be dangerous. So the question of whether we stay or retreat will become fairly obvious. So enjoy the video and we'll talk to you at the end. This is what we love to see, a nice calm elephant coming right towards us. Although we're close, he's not bothered at all by our presence. In fact, he's so bright that he brings his lunch with him so he doesn't have to stop later for another meal. Although some of that grass looks pretty interesting. One of our favorite sights to observe is a mother with a youngster. Um, it's raining hard. Neither one seems to care, our presence doesn't bother them, so they get on with their daily living. That old? Yeah. 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 Another favorite site is a group of moms with babies. Every female is a mom to all the babies. You can see this little one is being very much protected by the females in the group.
This is a larger group of moms and babies walking across an open field in the rain. They don't seem to be bothered by the rain. It's just us who are getting wet. Um, you can see this is once a dense forest, but because of the animal behavior of taking down the trees to get to branches and food, especially in the dry season, um, these areas have been totally decimated by the elephants. The trees are gone and open fields are left. Again, what could be a better sight than coming upon a group of elephants cooling down in a water hole? Wow. Again, non aggressive, could care less that we're very close to them. Um, they have other things on their mind. Mom gets up, starts walking away, and then shortly thereafter, the babies fall. Just a wonderful sight. Non aggressive, we're not bothering them, they are not bothering us. All is good. Oh, 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 feels so good. This is one of our favorite elephants. We watched him for probably a half hour while he drank water. Then he walked over to a scratching post and actually he walked right up to us, becoming six inches from Shelley's face. Um, again, non-aggressive. You can tell by his movements, by his behaviors, that um, he's not afraid of us and we're in no danger. So in this part of the video ends, you can see him walking a, a little bit closer, enjoying a scratching right post, little, little and then you see uh, the results nice. of his movement I've never seen towards him. us. Take a, a swim during the daytime here at Scotia. At Addo, they swim all the time in the day, but here they swim at night. Do they? Yeah. Funny. It's amazing. Why? Oh, just what I was looking for. A nice scratching <laughs> post. I think I'll sharpen my teeth and I think I'll scratch my butt and then I'll walk over and see who's in that vehicle just ahead. Wow. <laughs> wow, you are you're such a pose, You're a you know character. <laughs> It's such a lazy morning, right? Eh? <laughs> got an itch. That's what yeah, it is. It's it, got an itch. Yes. This is the photo on the cover of our latest book. How about that getting close to an elephant, six inches? We enjoyed watching this elephant, very calm, unperturbed by our presence. He found a tree that he can use as a scratching post. Enjoy the antics of this bull elephant. You can see by the head in the right lower part of the picture that we're very close to this group of animals and the females are getting a little wary of our presence. So you can see some of the early um, anxiety um, of the these uh, females as they have a young close by. Her ears are up, she's swagging her tail. Um, but again, they're not particularly worried about us, but they're gonna move out of the area. 
Here's another male coming right towards us. Uh, we're parked on a, uh, a road and he seems very calm. He's looking right at us, uh, knows we're there. And we'll see what his behavior is like as he gets closer. Now right now he's flapping his ears probably to cool down. His tail is relaxed. But as he gets closer, he gets a little bit more antsy. He's starting to swagger a little bit, trunk up, ears coming forward. The trunk now just goes on top of the tusks. So that's kind of a warning to us. You can see us. this mom and baby Let's coming right to us does. on the road. Again, seems pretty calm, but she becomes a little now bit more us nervous as she by. gets closer. We're not, to do anything. We're not moving, we're not making any noise, but she's starting to flap her ears a little bit. Her gait changes, her trunk starts wagging. The baby goes behind mom for protection and then she'll stop, shake her head. This is a warning to us not to come any closer. We decided not to pull back to see what her behavior was like. We always have the engine on, so if we do have to escape, we can. But she doesn't seem particularly perturbed other than giving us a warning not to come any closer. But on her own, she comes closer. As she comes right next to our vehicle. You can see she's keeping a good eye on us. Her ears are forward. She's looking right at us, telling us not to move, which we don't. Trunk up, but she continues forward. In this video, you can see how close we are to the elephants. Actually, we're surrounded by them. Um, we're very close. Um, the one with the big tusks comes towards us. The engine has started and we back off. You can tell by his his ears and his long stare at us that we are to get out of the area. Um, they are planning to cross the road and there are young with them, so we take heed and move back. Again, the behavior, the signals that they give us um, indicate their next move. So we take heed, move back, and give them space. One of our uh, most frightening elephant encounters. Um, you can see the po by the posturing that he's not happy with us uh, being in the area. He keeps making false charges, ears up, trunk is going back and forth, his tail's to the side. Um, he's dancing. The posturing is uh, very indicative of um, his desire to confront us. Um, we were with him for Oh, maybe 15 minutes, we drive a quarter of a mile back, he'd still follow us. We drive back again, he'd still come after us. Um, we could not get rid of this dude, um, but we were obviously bothering him. You can see him splashing. Um, this is a very um, anxious animal. We're trying to give him space, but we pull back and he continues to follow us. You can see he's not giving up. He's quite close to us. He keeps making false charges. Ears are up, tails to the side. Um, he'll come around the tree and make a running dash towards our vehicle. Um, this is about when we stopped the video. Uh, we started moving away from him again, but he followed us. We learn about elephants every time we travel. Whether you see these adorable youngsters on the road or whether you see a majestic sight of an elephant drinking by a, a pond. Um, it's always wonderful to, to watch them. Knowing their behaviors, their posturing, their anxiety movements um, is very important when you're close to these giants. So hopefully um, this has given you some information on what we look for uh, when we're watching these, these animals. Um, so please subscribe to our channel. 
um, and uh, go to our website. These animals and about a thousand others are available on tiles and trivets and canvas and metals. Uh, we've got lots of great elephants to share with you. So follow us on Facebook, uh, subscribe to this channel, and all of our future postings will be at your hand. Thank you very much. See you next time.